Hi guys, this is Giacomo Pasquale here and in this video we're gonna take a look at the new MIDI features for SDL Tones, Amp Hub and Tone Up. So first of all, let's see how we can connect a MIDI controller to our computer. We basically have three ways. The first one is USB direct connection, so like in my case where I have this MIDI pedal board straight connected to a USB port on my computer. If our MIDI controller only has a MIDI out connection, we can use a MIDI to USB interface like this, or we can use our audio interface in case we have a MIDI in physical connection on it. As you can see, I'm using the latest standalone version of ToneUp for this video. So in order to let our MIDI controller to communicate with our plugin, we have to enable this communication. So in the settings panel, we have to scroll through the available option in the MIDI section and we have to look for our MIDI interface. In my case, it's down here and it's called TS MIDI 2.0. So be sure to select the correct MIDI interface in this box. And this is absolutely necessary to let our MIDI device talking with our plugin. So for example, if you're experiencing issues in the communication, please be sure that your MIDI interface is correctly selected in this area. So let's start seeing how this works. The main MIDI panel where you'll find everything about the MIDI settings you will make is accessible here through this button. So you will find two main bindings, global bindings and preset bindings. So this is the main difference. A global binding is an assignment you make that will be available for all the presets. A preset binding is an assignment valid only for that single preset. So please remember, as written here, that presets binding have to be saved in the preset by the usual save button. So we're talking of this button here. Global bindings are automatically saved. So one other thing to remember is that a preset binding always have priority over a global binding, meaning that ToneHub, in this case, when receiving a MIDI command, it looks firstly for a preset binding, if present, it goes for it. If not, it looks for a global one. So if a global binding seems not working, please check if there is a preset binding over the same MIDI comments overriding it. So let's close this window and make some examples. Let's say I want the compressor to be always so for every preset switchable on off through my A switch on the MIDI pedal board. So let's reach the compressor, I right click on the foot switch and the MIDI learn box appears. So here we have to choose to make a preset or a global assignment. I go for MIDI Learn Global. As you can see, press or move the MIDI control to bind this feature. I click the A button on my pedal board. As you can see, I can switch on off the compressor. So this was a global binding. This means that even if I change preset here, I can still change the compressor status because it's a global binding. Now let's make another example. Uh, I want the delay to be switchable through my B switch on the pedal board, but only for, for example, uh, this specific preset, or let's make another preset, new preset. So in this preset, I want the delay to be switchable by my B switch on the MIDI pedal board. So I right click the delay's foot switch, I click MIDI learn preset, and I click the B switch. As you can see, I can switch on off. Please remember to save what you've done, because now we made a preset binding and preset binding needs to be saved with the current preset. So I click save and this is stored. As you can see, I can choose the on off status of the pedal. Now let's talk about expression pedals. As you can see, I have an expression pedal on my desk and I want to assign the volume pedal control to this expression pedal. So we have to connect the expression pedal to the MIDI controller I select under Stomp the volume pedal, I right click on it and I say, for example, MIDI Learn Global, as maybe I want this expression pedal to always control the volume pedal range. So I click on MIDI Learn Global, I move my pedal and as you can see, I can move up and down and everything will be reflected on Tone Hub. So, how easy this is. So it, everything is really easy and fast, absolutely fast. So, for example, we can check what we've done here in the MIDI panel. We chose volume pedal under global, we chose comp status under global, 
and we choose delay status under preset bindings. Now let's go a little bit in depth in the MIDI settings. We just talked about the expression pedal and for example we can customize the expression pedal excursion. For example we are on the MIDI panel as you can see volume pedal level minimum and maximum as you can see I can uh, slide these to maybe 0.7 I can go back and now when my pedal will be in its lowest position it will reach only 68 in this case because this pedal is really old I made a lot of tours with it and it's not precise as its first day so you should read exactly the settings that you put on the previous box as you can see when I put on full it come back to 100 I can customize this as I want and for example uh, this could be mm, useful if we want to set a level for our rhythm tones and a level for our lead tones we can also choose to make a setting like this to be available with the press of a foot switch so for example let's remove the previous assignment let's come back here let's right click MIDI learn global and for example let's click on this button so as you can see now I can switch between 0 and 100 but let's come back in the MIDI panel let's make this to for example 0 0.60 let's close this and now I can switch between the two settings so that's even more flexibility in being able to choose for example a setting like this to be activated both with a, an expression pedal or a foot switch now let's say that we want to control multiple parameters with the same MIDI message so for example we want here to control the overdrive 5 and the graphic EQ both with a single switch press we just have to do two MIDI learns as you can see right click MIDI learn preset for example switch number two graphic EQ right click MIDI learn preset switch number two again and as you can see I can turn both on with a single press of the foot switch this is really really useful uh, to optimize your MIDI controller workflow now let's say for example that I want these to be alternating so for example when I have the overdrive 5 on I want the graphic EQ off I can just click the foot switch with my mouse the assignment is already made and as you can see now these are alternating themselves so it's everything pretty easy and really fast to do in the MIDI panel we can also choose uh, the specific behavior of every program change so for example all these status I set the minimum on one so basically is always on and now as you can see when I switch the first time it switches to alternating as before but now this works in fully on mode and we're switching only the graphic EQ so we can customize every behavior in this window and this is really useful to make more complex assignments we talked about global bindings so there's another thing to say for example under MIDI panel you can see preset next and preset previous we have the box to perform the MIDI learn we can click here for example I say preset next on the T button preset previous on my C button and now I can switch preset I can go next or previous preset by using this button previous next next so it's everything pretty easy and fast again there's another cool feature we can talk about and that's the effect spillover so the spillover functionality is really convenient to use um, to maintain our effect traits when changing preset we can activate this function right clicking on the effect button here and we can choose effects trail spillover please remember that this function is preset based so we need to save the preset in order to maintain what we've done if it's something you think it's useful for every preset and I think that if you're working a lot with effects it's really really useful I suggest you to preset this function for all the presets you have now let's make a quick test to hear this function passing from a really wet clean tone to a dry rhythm tone listen to how all the trails are passing and fading from the first preset to the second one Thank you. 
So it's all for now, hope you will enjoy these new MIDI features, I hope that this helps to create your best workflow and we'll see you on the next video.